Uh, the Sudan Open Archive is a digital online archive allowing full access to knowledge about all regions of Sudan and South Sudan. It takes the form of an expanding full text database of more than 3,000 historical documents that allows you to understand Sudanese history better as well as more recent events. The project started in 2004 as an initiative of UNICEF Operation Lifeline Sudan who asked us to investigate the state of archives for international aid agencies working in Sudan. At the time there was a recognition that there was a lack of basic data about conditions in Sudan, particularly South Sudan, which was a problem for planning for after the peace agreement which came in January 2005. At the same time many agencies were scrambling to understand Darfur which was the rising emergency at that time as well. So I was asked to conduct a survey of known archives in Kenya, where Operation Lifeline Sudan was based, and also in, in Khartoum and Juba, where Operation Lifeline was based in the northern sector. So uh, this survey involved rummaging through uh, containers that formed the OLS archives in Nairobi, Lokichogyo, Juba, Khartoum. Um, after which we produced a report and recommendations to digitize this material, but also to create a practical, usable uh, resource for aid practitioners who could use it to better understand what they were doing, how they were doing it, and what had been done before. And that's why the emphasis was really on something that was accessible, easy to use, uh, and could really allow for immediate access uh, to this deeper history uh, of aid interventions in Sudan, but also other forms of Sudanese history as well. Most recently, we added the colonial journal Sudan Notes and Records, for example, uh, from the first edition in 1918 uh, until 1952. This is an invaluable uh, historical uh, resource uh, to understand the deeper history uh, of that particular uh, time. We've also added a range of more recent documents, including a version of the Comprehensive Peace Agreement, which is fully word searchable, uh, as well as the Abuye Boundaries Commission report and other sources which hopefully uh, are relevant uh, to many people uh, today. Just to give one example of how a knowledge of past uh, interventions and context can really help uh, the effectiveness of emergency or development response. Uh, late 2011, uh, with the fighting in Jongle, there was a tremendous rise in interest by donors and agencies in how to respond uh, to the to growing crisis there. And in the archive, we have a number of reports about Jongle from different historical points in time including a field officer's handbook uh, about Jongle published uh, in 1998, produced by Save the Children uh, UK, uh, which itself was motivated by the desire uh, to enhance its intervention through a better understanding of the, of the local conditions. And this built upon, of course, a longer history of studies of that part of, of South Sudan. Um, and that's the type of resource that we've tried to make available uh, to people working today with a view to assisting uh, the effectiveness of that policy practice. This is an open access, open source uh, archive, so the emphasis is upon easy access to free information. Remember also that this is the written history, the recorded surviving written history of Sudan as well. Uh, much of the information we have about South Sudan during the last war, for example, uh, derives from the record of aid agencies that were working there during the time. Without this information, uh, this is a tremendous loss uh, for the people of southern Sudan uh, and, and as well as uh, researchers and other people working there today. So this is as much about the, his the history and the cultural heritage uh, of the people of South Sudan as well as the people of Sudan as it is a resource for aid agencies uh, to use. During the war, there was a tremendous attack upon the history of South Sudan as part of, of, of the conflict. But there were also more natural reasons uh, that caused the destruction of the written history of, of South Sudan, including the Juba archives, uh, for example. So uh, because this material is so fragile and easy to lose, uh, having it backed up in digital form helps to preserve uh, the written history of, of Sudan.